In this lesson, I will discuss to you how to find the domain and range of a rational function given its graph. There are actually lots of graphing softwares that you can use for you to graph functions easily. In my case, I use a graphing software called GeoGebra. I will show you a demonstration how I use this software in graphing functions. In our example, the given rational function is f of x equals quantity x minus 5 over quantity x plus 2. So to graph it using our software, we have to input that one in our input bar that is located below in the lower portion. We have here the input. So for f of x, you may just type y equals parenthesis x minus 5. And then you can see there a line because this is the graph of a linear function with y equals quantity x minus 5. This is not yet the graph that we are looking for because we still have to continue. So we have to input over parenthesis again x plus 2. The software displays here the graph of that function. So as we try to zoom, we have observed that on the x-axis, the graph somehow approaches to the value x equals negative 2. If we try to move upwards there, the graph is getting closer to that value. However, it does not cross that particular value. Let's look at the y-axis. The y-axis is in the interval of 2. Of course, we can find here the value of 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. If we try to look closely on the graph, the graph of this rational function keeps getting closer to y equals positive 1, but does not cross on that particular value. What does this imply with regards to the domain and range of a rational function? So again, in the graphing software that we used a while ago, this is what the graph looks like. With respect to the x-axis, the graph breaks at x equals negative 2. As you can see, this broken line here tells that the graph breaks in this particular value. The graph seems to go closer in this point, however, it does not cross nor touch on this particular value. Hence, the domain is the set of all real numbers except negative 2. And this is how it is written in symbols. That is, the set of all x's where x is an element of real numbers, such that x is equal to negative 2. With respect to y-axis, the graph breaks at y equals 1. There, you can see it. The graph gets closer to this value, however, it does not cross on it. Hence, the range is a set of all real numbers except 1. And in symbols, it is written like this. The set of all y's, where y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to positive 1. So, we already have identified the domain and range of this particular rational function. Let us proceed to our second example. Our second rational function is quantity 2x plus 4 over quantity x minus 6. Again, using the graphing software GeoGebra, this is how this graph looks like. If you have observed with respect to the x-axis, the graph breaks at x equals positive 6. There you have it. Hence, the domain is the set of all real numbers except 6. And it is written this way. With respect to y-axis, the graph breaks at y equals positive 2. There. Hence, the range is the set of all real numbers except 2. And it is written in this manner. 
in our third example, we have this rational function f of x equals quantity x minus 1 over quantity x plus 3 times quantity x minus 2. As you can see, there are two quantities being multiplied in the denominator. And using again the graphing software, this is how the graph looks like. There, it's a beautiful graph of this particular rational function. Now, with respect to the x-axis, we have observed that there are two values where the graph tends to break. We have the value of x, which is negative 3, and the value of x, which is positive 2. Hence, the domain is a set of all real numbers except negative 3 and 2. Negative 3 and positive 2 are not included in the domain since the graph does not cross on these particular values. With respect to the y-axis, the graph has no breaks. If you have observed in this particular portion, the graph crosses the y-axis and it goes infinitely upwards. It also goes infinitely downwards. Hence, the range is the set of all real numbers and it is written this way. Identifying the domain and range of a rational function given its graph is just very easy. You only have to look for those values where the graph tends to break and those values are not included in the domain if it's in the x-axis and if it's on the y-axis, those values are not included in the range. Do you have questions with this lesson? Try to post it in the comment section and let me see. I will try to answer it. Have a great day.